wreck the halls. Penelope von Schweetz, president of Sugar Rush, lay down in a drift of powdered sugar. Ralph, watch this, she called to her friend. Ralph was visiting from his own video game, Fix-It Felix Jr. Penelope moved her arms and legs quickly through the fluffy powder. Then she sprang to her feet. Ta-da, a sugar angel, she exclaimed proudly. Ralph smiled weakly. Oh yeah, he said, nice one. Penelope could tell something was bothering Ralph. Hey, shouldn't you be Mr. Holly Jolly? It's only a few days until Christmas, your first real Christmas. Christmas time was usually pretty lonely for video game bad guys like Ralph. But ever since Ralph had saved his game from being unplugged, the Nicelanders had realized what a good guy their bad guy was. This year, for the first time ever, they had even invited Ralph to their holiday party. It was great to go to the Nicelanders party, Ralph told Penelope. But you know what? The whole time I was there, I couldn't stop thinking about the bad guys in all the other games. Their Christmases will be just as lonely as ever. Ralph remembered past Christmases spent alone on his brick pile at the dump. Bad guys deserve a real Christmas too, Ralph added. Penelope tilted her head to one side, then nodded. You're right, she said, and we can give it to them. She remembered how it had felt to be left out by the other racers in her own game. Let's throw the bad guys a Christmas party with presents in a tree, the whole nine yards. Ralph's face lit up. That's a perfect idea, he cried. He hopped up in excitement, then landed with a boom. The ground shook and a towering sugar drift toppled over, burying Vanellope. Oops, sorry, said Ralph, digging her out. Ralph called a special meeting of the Bad Anon Sport Group. Every year, we bad guys get stuck on the outside of Christmas looking in. Well, this year, everything is going to be different. Ralph told them all about how wonderful Christmas could be with decorations, presents, songs, and parties. Everyone got really excited. Ralph's Christmas sounded like so much fun. I want everyone to meet here in the support group room on Christmas Eve, Ralph said, and get ready for the merriest Christmas ever. Then Ralph and Vanellope got busy making a special gift for each bad guy. They planned something for everyone, including a new fireproof cape for Satine, eight cozy mittens for Cycloptopus, and a jar of extra sticky taffy for Zombie, who was always looking for something to help reattach his arms. And now for the tree, Vanellope declared. It just isn't Christmas without a candy-covered tree. They found a perfect lollipop tree in Lolly Sticks Forest and cut it down. Then they strung it with popcorn garlands and hung candy canes from its branches. A glistening rock candy star twinkled on top. Not bad, Vanellope said, stepping back to admire it. Ralph agreed. It didn't exactly look like the Nicelanders Christmas tree, but he knew the bad guys would love it. The presents were ready. The tree was ready. But with just one day left until Christmas Eve, Ralph was worried about something. How are we going to carry all this to the support group room? Vanellope wrinkled her nose as she thought it over. Then her eyes widened. The same way Santa does it, she replied, in a sleigh. Vanellope dragged Ralph across Sugar Rush to the cart bakery. There they could use all the sugar, frosting, and candy they needed to create the perfect Christmas cart. Has anyone ever made a sleigh here before? Ralph asked. I doubt it, Vanellope said as she fiddled with the controls, but there's a first time for everything. Gears turned, belts rolled, mixers mixed, and frosting squirted. Within minutes, a gleaming vehicle slid out of the finisher and came to rest at Ralph's feet. One rocket-powered candy sleigh ready to go, Vanellope declared. On Christmas Eve, the two friends met up to bring Christmas to the bad guys. Penelope came dressed up and ready to play elf. I didn't have a hat in size freakishly large, so I made you this. She tossed Ralph an empty sugar sack tied with a red bow on the side. Thanks, said Ralph, putting it on. Then he squeezed behind the wheel of the rocket-powered sleigh. Can I drive? Uh, how about I get us off the ground, Penelope replied. She shooed Ralph into the passenger seat. You can turn on the rockets once we get going. Penelope revved the engines and they were off. Soon they were flying smoothly toward the game exit. Okay, let's get this thing moving, Ralph called out, reaching for the left and right rocket switches. He flipped them both, but his powerful grip snapped one of the tiny rocket switches like a toothpick. Only one rocket turned on and the sleigh spun out of control. Vanellope tried to regain control of the runaway sleigh. First they zoomed left, then they zipped right, but no matter what Vanellope did, it was no use. The rocket spiraled lower and lower until, gloop, it came to a lurching stop in the middle of Great Caramel Lake. Ralph and Vanellope managed to swim to shore, but the sleigh and all the presents were ruined. Ralph watched sadly as everything they had worked on sank beneath the caramel lake. Oh no, he moaned. Empty-handed and covered in caramel, Ralph and Vanellope made their way to the support group room. Ralph hesitated outside the door. What are we going to tell the guys? I've wrecked their Christmas. 
For once, Vanellope didn't have a snappy comeback. She knew the crash had been an accident, but she was still sad they wouldn't be able to have a Christmas party. Time to face the music, big guy, she said, shaking her head. But when they opened the door, the friend's jaws dropped. The room was completely decked out, and the party was well underway. The bad guys greeted them with a big cheer. Where did you get all this? Ralph asked. We spent the last few days getting everything ready, Sorceress said. Yeah, you got us all in the Christmas spirit, Satine added. But Vanellope and I made presents and trimmed a tree. We even made a sleigh, but I wrecked it. I wrecked everything. Don't be silly, Ralph, said Satine. You're the reason we're here, spending the holiday together. The other bad guys nodded in agreement. That's a pretty great gift. Vanellope punched Ralph gently on the arm. Yeah, don't be silly, Ralph, she said. Or should I say, Mr. Holly Jolly? A wide smile spread across Ralph's face. That's me, he exclaimed. Merry Christmas, everyone. And as they all celebrated late into the night, it truly was the merriest Christmas any of them had ever had. Thank you.